Hello everyone and welcome to early morning prayer requests and devotions. Hope everybody's alright this morning on our prayer request. Beth asked for prayers for the firemen that are working continuously on the fires in Texas. Also pray they get them all put out. And a female deputy, deputy lost her life in the fires in Texas. Pray for comfort for the family. Shannon is going to have a procedure done on her back. Pray it helps because it really hurts her. Marina needs prayer for her brother Jerry and her family. And pray for Diane C.'s friend. He's in the hospital. Okay. <coughs> Kitty. Kitty. Don't do that. She's jumping up at the uh, trash can. She knocks it over sometimes. Okay, our scripture of the day comes from Genesis 1, 20 to 25. No kitty. All right. Uh, 20 to 25. And God said, let the water teem with living creatures and let birds fly above the earth across the vault of the sky. So God created the great creatures of the sea and every living thing with which the water teems and that moves about in it according to their kinds and every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and increase in number and fill the water in the seas and let the birds increase on the earth. And there was evening and there was morning the fifth day. And God said, Let the land produce living creatures according to their kinds, the livestock, the creatures that move along the ground, and the wild animals, each according to its kind. And it was so. God made the wild animals according to their kinds, the livestock according to their kinds, and all the creatures that move along the ground according to their kinds. And God saw that it was good. Okay. All right, and our devotion today is entitled, God's Good Glue. Scientists from Penn State University recently engineered a new kind of glue that's both extremely strong and also removable. Their design is, expired, is inspired by a snail whose slime hardens in dry conditions <coughs> and loosens again when wet. The reversible nature of the snail's slime allows it to move freely in more humid conditions, safer for the snail, while keeping it securely planted in its environment when movement could be hazardous. The researchers' approach of mimicking an adhesive found in nature calls to mind scientist Johann, Johannes Kepler's description of his discoveries. He said he was merely thinking God's thoughts after him. The Bible tells us that God created the earth and all that's in it, the vegetation on the land, the creatures of the sea, and every winged bird, the creatures that move along the ground, and mankind in his own image. When humankind discovers or identifies a special attribute of a plant or animal, we're simply following in God's creative footsteps, having our eyes open to the way he designed them. At the end of each day in the creation account, God surveyed the fruit of his work and described it as good. As we learn and discover more about God's creation, may we too recognize his magnificent work, care for it well, and proclaim how very good it is. How do you see God's handiwork in the creation around you? How can you respond and pray in praise to him? Creator God, thank you for the unique and perfect way you created the world and all that's in it. Your works are wondrous. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs and help anyone out there that's been affected by the virus. And please help this war in Ukraine end. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button, share this out, and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. 
And I hope to see you later on on Morning Coffee Break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.